Welcome Pisces, welcome to Unspiritual Tarot. We're gonna get your mid, mid month reading. Um, and this time I'm going to be focusing on your major arcana card for each zodiac sign. So this is for Pisces. So we're gonna focus on your major arcana, which is the moon card. So of course, um, Pisces is like the uh, dreamiest sign of the zodiac. Um, so it makes sense that your card is the moon. This is also associated with intuition and creativity. Um, on this card, the, the water down here is actually supposed to be your subconscious mind. And um, the, the little crayfish right there at the bottom, this crayfish, is your consciousness unfolding. And then we have a wolf and a dog on there. And this is about the, um, the team and as well as the wild parts of your mind. So, like I said, this is all about um, the intuition and um, things that are hidden, your uh, subconscious mind. And this is saying your power lies in your ability to recognize your complex feelings and you should let your dreams guide you and trust your intuition. And um, also know that not everything is as, as it appears. Okay. So... Um, so we're going to base our reading on these cards, okay? So, let's see. We're going to let the Grinch hold your little moon card here. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what our minor arcana for you are. Of course, cups is the um, water, water um, cards. So yours is actually the eight of cups, the nine of cups, and the ten of cups. So, see, it's all about the emotional sense. Um, like I said, Pisces is a pretty deep sign. Um, and this is moving away from things that aren't emotionally fulfilling and going towards things that are um, make you emotionally happy. This is that bliss and contentness. And this is the ultimate emotional fulfillment. So, with that being said, we are going to go ahead and jump right on into your reading. We're just going to do like we usually do. Get the energy of you, energy of someone around you, um, the challenges and the advice, as well as at the end, we're going to get a blessed bee card for you. So let's go ahead and see what your energy is. I'm going to use these ones. So what is uh, Pisces energy, mid-month, December 2021? What is your energy at this time? Energy within you, energy around you. What is this about? I'm going to pull a few and just so I can get a sense of all together here. So we have the lovers. That's that harmonious connection. Also going to be about choices. Could be about something of your energies uh, involved with a partnership. Someone that you are, um, might even consider a soulmate. Eight of voices. This is that eight of swords feeling trapped. What else has come up for your energy? The Six of Pentacles. Let's get one more. And Justice. Okay, so. Like I said, this is involving uh, somebody that you consider a soulmate. It could be a uh, romantic relationship or it could be just a, like a good friend or, or a family member. It doesn't have to be a relationship. But whatever it is, it's making you feel that justice needs to be served in some way. Something is unfair, you feel, and you're feeling stuck by it, you know, like stuck or stagnant because things are off balance here. There's, there's too much giving and not enough receiving. So something is unfair here in this situation or that's how you're feeling um, and you're feeling pretty trapped by it. But this is something to do with a relationship that's usually pretty harmonious, but there's some kind of stuck energy here and uh, not enough balance. Somebody's taking too much and not giving enough. So let's see if there's anything else that wants to come out. What other energies around Pisces at this time? Okay, now we have that six of wands. So there is gonna be success here. So again, with the moon being your card, you know, there could be something that you're not seeing that's hidden a little bit. It's also about face, you know, facing your fears if this is a fear 
um, like something got triggered and makes you, makes you a little fearful, trust your intuition about what to do. Um, usually, you know, open communication is good as well because there could be just something that you're not seeing, okay? All right, so now we are gonna go ahead and get a person around you's energy. What's this person's energy like around Pisces? You're feeling trapped and something's not fair. There's not enough giving back. Let's see. Okay, so we got two right there. Oh, okay, so this is somebody who's stable, that takes care of the family. So this person is a very stable, nurturing, taking care of the family. They might be the breadwinner in the, in the family. Um, there's some kind of judgment here too. So they could be feeling judged by you, by something, um, or they could be judging you as well. So let's see what else is coming up. It looks like there might be a little tension between the two of you though. Yeah, this is um, uh, nostalgia, thinking about like the good old days. I wish it was back like that. Maybe something has shifted here and it's off balance still. And it looks like that you're feeling restricted and maybe taken advantage of a little bit, not like having your needs met, like you're giving all and not, and not getting, getting back. And they're feeling like judged, but they are trying to provide and work for the family and be, make this the, uh, family situation or your situation uh, stable and comfortable. And they are thinking about the past a little bit here. All right. This also too, whatever the situation could be triggering some um, child, little childhood wounds from them. Like maybe uh, you're reminding them something of their past as well and they're feeling judged. Let's see what else. Anything else with this person? Yeah. So, you know, this is like taking a risk and starting a new journey, I feel, for this person. They are really trying to um, do something differently here, but they are feeling really judged. You know, maybe they haven't got um, everything totally together. But um, also, too, like if they keep feeling pushed or judged, they might take a new journey <laughs> but there's some kind of risk they are taking and it, look, feel, it does feel like that maybe they're feeling like they're judged by it and they're feeling a little frustrated with that and you are also feeling a little frustrated because you're feeling trapped and like um there's not give and take in the situation it's off balance what else with this person it's going to resonate differently for all of you so however it fits your circumstance yeah and this is causing like conflict so that could be also um, that hidden energy. They might be just withdrawing and not saying too much because they don't want any conflict. They feel like they're being judged. Okay. And if they keep being pushed too much, they might like take a risk and start something now here. But anyway, it seems like uh, um, they are living in the past a little bit, like the way things were, or they are being triggered by something that happened that's reminding of something happened in their childhood that has some kind of old wound attached to it. But let's go ahead and see. I'm going to do one more for this person. Let's see. Oh, that was too many. One more for this person's energy around Pisces at this time. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, there's some kind of fear-based... Uh, fear-based energy and also like I said they are keeping something hidden and it's not to be deceptive it's just that they don't want to cause any more conflict and they're feeling like they're judged by you so they're keeping quiet um this person too also could be a Pisces or it could be you in their life so they're they're just kind of trusting their intuition but and, and just kind of holding back right now and I really feel like there's some kind of like a little bit of silence going on here because you're both um not seeing something clearly um there's like stops communication and you're not communicating so it's hard to know what's going on okay but you're both feeling kind of uh, you're feeling stuck they're feeling judged so all right so let's go ahead and get the advice in this situation no okay that was their energy i'm sorry let's get the conflict well, we already kind of know what the conflict is but we're going to go ahead and say well, if anything else comes up conflict in the situation okay well this one popped right up on top this is causing sleepless nights, anxiety, and worry. So, you both want this happiness, but this, and this is your, remember your minor arcana card. You both want this, but this, whatever the situation is, is causing a lot of fear, feeling judged, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights. 
See, yeah, there's some kind of conflict here again. But I really do think you guys want to work things out long term, but there's some just kind of tension going on right now. And I really feel like trusting your intuition coming from a place of open hearted and you know clearing the air with uh, open honest communication not fighting no no uh, bashing each other or judging each other but like honest clear communication um will help with this situation let's see what else but right now it doesn't seem like there is this the conflicts right now are the challenges right now is there's a lot of tension Things aren't really moving forward like long term. It's kind of stopped in its tracks. Tracks. There's not much happiness going on right now, and there's a lot of anxiety, fear, and we sleep at nights. Let's see if there's any other conflicts. Not that we want them, but let's try. Yeah. Seven of Cups. So this is. Uh, there is an opportunity to fix this, but this is also an illusion card. So you know, don't. Don't, you know, I know like Pisces are kind of dreamy. So, you know, don't start making it a big illusion. Like really see the reality of it. And like I said, have other open communication. Okay. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill here. All right. See things clearly. All right. So now we are going to go ahead and get some advice. What's the advice of this situation? Okay. Yeah, this is transformation. Closing out a cycle. So if there's one way you have been been a certain way, it's time to close that out. It might even be time to just if this is relationship is really just like over, it might be time to just take a little break. There's something that needs to be closed out and transformed. And I'm really believing that maybe it's a uh, uh, the way you communicate, maybe or the um, or um, pattern of behavior, thought process, something like that. All right, let's see what else. And also it could be for some of you that the situation in your, the relationship has changed, like a move, a new home, a uh, new job or something that's causing the tension and the little feeling restricted and the way things are going, giving one's giving and not giving back, taking and not giving back, something, something's changed the situation. There's been a a, a death of a certain cycle here and, but there is transformation and it can be successful because we did have that six of wands so let's see what else it just depends on how you yeah see six of swords moving out of choppy waters and getting to calm waters you know so there's got to be a lot of forgiveness open communication nothing left hidden you know just clear communication open from an open heart no judgment no disillusionment, just clear, honest, truthful communication. Yeah, yeah. You have all the tools and skills to do it. This is manifesting that, manifesting that Ten of Cups and that happiness, that Six of Wands, that success, okay? What else? But it has to be two. It has to be that balance with that Six of Pentacles, give and take. So if you're feeling like something's um, not being given back to you, you might want to express that. Okay, but come from your point of view. Don't accuse. That's never a good way. Yeah, see, look. Yeah, you can get that Ten of Cups again. And they're together. It's all balanced out. They're happy. All right, we're going to get one more advice card and then we're going to go over to the Blessed V card. All right, there we are. Yeah, King of Wands. This is moving forward confidently taking charge of yourself and maybe even taking charge of the situation where you sit down and say, hey, listen, you know, there's silence and how we're both feeling uh, this conflict in the energy. We need to really talk about this, you know, openly, honestly, uh, you know, without judgment, you know, clear conversation. Okay, so that is the advice. Now we're going to go ahead and get the blessed speaker. And as you can see, this card is how you connect with yourself your higher self and you find that emotional bliss is by uncovering the hidden things listening to your intuition facing your fears and shadows uh, once and for all so if there's something that could be triggering you that might be what you're needing to close out that cycle of like a way of pattern of old behavior that you've been thinking you know where something happens and you start thinking the worst like you're not good enough you don't deserve it uh, whatever that is you know that might be 
what you need to uncover. So uncovering those shadows, going deep for that emotional happiness, that bliss, that Ten of Cups, okay? So, and you need that in a relationship as well. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's coming up for your bliss card. I mean, your blessed card. <laughs> it's a bliss again. Yeah, it's a bliss card. All right. All right, look at this, which is interesting. A blessing to ease loneliness and bring companionship. Yeah, see, because it feels kind of alone when you're like not talking and there's conflict and tension in the air, right? So, all right, let's go ahead and read this card. I always forget to look at the number 40. Let's see what this blessing is for you. Find it. All right, so this blessing to ease loneliness and bring companionship. This is a blessing for when you find yourself without those touch tones of our humanity, our friends and companions. A period of loneliness quite different to, to solitude can take places for many reasons. Can take place for many reasons. We can move away or excuse me, let me try this again. We can move away. Or lives can change and be reshaped and suddenly the space we found of each other has been closed off or absorbed by others. Sometimes we isolate ourselves, unwilling to be a burden to the others. And some are born into shyness and paralyzing social anxieties that make the seeking of relationships a terrifying thing. This blessing is for you when you feel alone. Let there be that call, that note, that memory that comes forth to remind you of your in innate worthiness let there be that smile from a stranger or touch from a kind hand that lets you know your humanity is the same as theirs and you have about the, the you have about the connections that can be rewoven let other gentle hands pick you up and do the re-reaving when you find yourself unable to perform the task and let serendipity come to you guiding you to change meetings or places where music plays and people move and the gathering is undemanding of you, yet surround you with the quality of inclusion. Let that loneliness begin to break, like clouds slowly moving apart and the great heaviness of isolation begin to be lightened by loving companions, humans and otherwise, until you return to the place where you know you have within your life those who care for you and without your presence, their life seems less bright. Blessed be. Yes, see, because this situation here is making you both feel really lonely, restricted, judged. So, you know, best way to solve it, face those fears, listen to that intuition, have that forgiveness, come from a place of unconditional love and non-judgmental, non and just have a talk, explain how things are. So, it's time to illuminate and set this, set this energy free again and you know have that open communication so that is your message pisces thanks so much for stopping by i hope you have a beautiful rest of your month and a wonderful holiday take care bye